I reported on this story not that long ago, but some people didn't see it. Tesla has built a large battery in Hawaii. And this big battery is being celebrated in Hawaii. They've had some recent parties and things that have, they've celebrated the end of fossil fuels. It's replacing the last coal plant in Hawaii. It won't be long before we can say this about many countries worldwide. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's predicted that worldwide in 2024, we will install twice as many batteries as we currently have in existence worldwide. And these batteries will replace coal plants and fossil fuel power plants all over the world. In Hawaii, a Tesla Megapack battery has officially turned on to replace the very last coal power plant. The project called Kapolei Energy Storage is located on the industrial west side of Oahu, and it consists of a massive 185 megawatt, 565 megawatt hour Tesla Megapack system. Now, it's believed these new mega packs use lithium iron phosphate batteries. So the batteries in these systems will, will last significantly longer than Tesla's older generation battery systems. The mega packs arrived in late 2022, along with Hawaii's last shipment of coal for this state's last coal plant, which closed in September. <laughs> kind of ironic to see the last shipment of coal arrive, and then the, probably on the same day or the same week, you see all these batteries arriving. It really isn't it showing the new replacing the old. Plus Power own and operate the battery system and they use Tesla Mega Packs for the project. They announced the project is now fully operational and there's now no more coal power at all in Hawaii. The company claimed that it is the most advanced grid scale battery energy storage system in the world. Here's what they said. Plus Power announced it has begun operating its Kapolei Energy Storage Facility on Oahu, Hawaii, the most advanced grid-scale battery energy storage system in the world, helping transition the state's electric power from coal and oil to solar, wind, and batteries. Isn't this unreal? I mean, what a place Hawaii is already to live. But now knowing you're going to be breathing clean air, you know, yes, there's still a lot of fossil fuel-powered vehicles, still a lot of internal combustion engine vehicles, but you know, within 10 years, that will change. The 168 Tesla Megapack 2XL battery units will be used for load shifting and fast frequency response services on Hawaii's electric grid. It will enable better use of the state's increasing renewable energy and it will bring down the price of electricity for local Hawaiians, which is very important. One of the things that happens once you install battery packs like this is they actually replace Pika plants. So Pika plants turn on, which are big coal power plants or gas power plants, they'll turn on when there is a huge spike in electricity, which often happens at the time between say 6 to 8 p.m., sort of when solar starts to come down in terms of the sun's view starts to come down. Then often you'll find in many countries around the world, the Pika plants will jump in. They are incredibly expensive. They often cost 70 times more than the normal cost of energy. And these battery plants, they replace them very, very quickly and very easily. Elon Musk has mentioned this on a number of occasions. Plus Power says that this is the most advanced battery in the world due to its wide ranging grid service capabilities. They said, this is a landmark milestone in the transition to clean energy. It's the first time a battery has been used by a major utility to balance the grid, providing fast frequency response, synthetic inertia and black start, which is what I was referring to before. This project is a postcard from the future Batteries will soon be providing these services at scale on the mainland. Plus Power revealed that the Tesla Mega Packs that they use are using lithium iron phosphate cells, which is fantastic. Not only are they cheaper to manufacture for Tesla, Tesla makes more profit, the battery packs are bigger than the old versions, plus they are cheaper, significantly cheaper. And even more than that, they are capable of twice as many cycles, if not more than that, versus the last cycles, they'll, they'll last twice as long and they're also less prone to fire. Plus, they need less energy to actually keep the batteries cool. Lithium ion phosphate batteries can operate really well in warmer temperatures, better than lithium ternary or NCM chemistry batteries. Hawaii aims to reach 100% clean energy by 2045, but I believe it'll happen well before that. It already has the highest amount of solar capacity deployed per capita. 
Now, of course, the reason batteries are needed is because the sun doesn't always shine. And it's also not always windy. So when it's not windy, when it's not sunny, these battery packs will be able to replace all that needed energy. The other thing to keep in mind is the prices of solar and batteries have come down over the past 12 months by 30 and 40% respectively, which is absolutely mind-blowing. We're past the tipping point worldwide when it comes to renewable energy. Look at places like Germany, well over 50%. Spain, well over 50%. Uh, Australia is heading in that direction as well. So the United States is in a great time right now. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.